Hey Miami Lakers and welcome to our daily COVID-19 update here in the town of Miami Lakes. But today is Mental Health Thursday here in our community and we're back with Councilman Collazo who has a special guest with us. Bienvenido reciente aquí en nuestra comunidad. Hoy es el update que hacemos todos los días, pero hoy es el, el, uh, el jueves de la salud mental. And today's very, very important discussion. I think there was a, a, a big study that came out recently. The Washington Post had done an entire article about it. How 50% of Americans are seeing their mental health being impacted uh, by the COVID-19 uh, pandemic. Es, uh, ayer mismo el Washington Post tuvo un artículo hablando que 50% de los americanos están teniendo su salud mental eh, impactado por este, la pandemia del coronavirus. Y eso algo entene, eh, entendemos muy bien y tenemos aquí con San Collazo que hablar con ustedes sobre eso. But before we get there to the Mental Health Thursday, we hand it over to Councilman Collazo and a special guest. Our town manager is going to give you guys a quick update as to what's happening here in our community. Hey, Miami Lakers. It's uh, another day of good news. We had no change in our number from yesterday to today. So we've now gone three days without a change. We're at 44 confirmed uh, positive cases in the town of Miami Lakes. And really, we've only had three cases in 20 days, so almost three weeks. And we've only had three new cases, which is incredible news. Le quería avisar que hoy el número que tenemos de casos confirmados positivos es 44. Es el mismo número que hemos tenido por los últimos tres días. No hubo cambio de ayer ni de anteayer para hoy. Eh, hemos tenido solamente tres casos nuevos en las últimas casi tres semanas. En 20 días, tres casos solamente. Qué buena noticia para nosotros eh, los residentes de Miami Lakes. Now for Mental Health Thursday, we have Councilman Collazo. Hey Miami Lakers, and thank you Mayor, thank you Mr. Manager. That is great news. Uh, continuing to, to keep our cases low is always a great sign and, 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 and we're one step closer to getting back on track. May is Mental Health Awareness Month and I'm very happy to have the special guest that we have with us today. Because today we have Estefania Plasencia who's representing NAMI Miami. NAMI stands for the National Association for Mental Illness. And NAMI represents families, caregivers, and individuals with mental illness. And they have great resources to offer our community. So, Estefania. Hi, thank you so much. Hi, everyone. Um, like Luis said, uh, this month is uh, Mental Health Awareness Month. And I'm here to tell you a little bit about what we do with NAMI. Uh, like he said, it's the National Alliance on Mental Illness, and we provide education, support, and advocacy for people living with mental health conditions and their loved ones. Now, um, as I said, uh, everything that we offer is completely free. So we're currently offering support groups for both the, for family members and for the person living with a mental health condition, and also for caregivers of youth between 12 and 22. So all of the information for the support groups, it's on uh, NAMIMiami.org. So if you go there, uh, you're gonna find the different dates uh, and, um, and, and the link to access. Now, uh, another resource that we have is our helpline. Our helpline, which is 305-665-2540, or a Spanish, call that is a Spanish helpline that is gonna go in the comments. Uh, we provide resources, we try to connect resources with the community, whether you're looking for um, medication for a doctor, whether you're looking for uh, housing, um, or if you simply want to talk about the way you're feeling right now and whatever is going on with the whole pandemic situation. Um, as well, we have, if you go to the same website, you're going to find a resource, a list of resources. Estefanía, sí, para las personas que están en español, mayo es el mes de la salud mental y hoy tenemos presente un representante de NAMI, 
la National Alliance for Mental Illness de NAMI Miami, Estefanía Plasencia está ofreciendo estos servicios también en español y ahora ella iba a repasar algunos de esos servicios ahora. Sí, muchas gracias por la oportunidad. Eh, como lo mencionó, esta es la Alianza Nacional de Enfermedades Mentales y nosotros proveemos educación y apoyo para personas que viven con alguna enfermedad mental y también para sus familiares. Um, Dicho esto, ofrecemos grupos de apoyo en línea en este momento que son totalmente gratuitos, tanto para la persona que vive con la enfermedad mental como para los, las personas, los familiares que cuidan de ellos, también para padres de jóvenes de 12 a 22 años. Tenemos una línea de ayuda en donde tratamos de conectarlos con recursos en la comunidad, ya sea de comida, ya sea de medicamentos, ya sea si estás buscando algún psicólogo, ayuda psicológica y uh, también tenemos uh, nuestras llamadas que estamos haciendo cada día para determinar si, nuestros, si nuestra comunidad tiene necesidades específicas como comida, como uh, vivienda, cualquier tipo de necesidad. Y también si van a nuestro website que es namimiami.org Ahí vas a poder encontrar una lista de recursos, de todo tipo de recursos para la comunidad. En, y tenemos otra línea de ayuda en la que puedes llamar, si, ya sea si no te sientes bien, no, tienes, no, no encuentras o necesitas ciertos recursos, puedes llamar al número de teléfono 305-665-2540. que dije es muy rápido, por favor siéntanse libres de llamarnos y les vamos a proveer toda la información con ayuda. Algo que me gustaría mencionar es que uh, las personas que llegan a nosotros no tienen que tener un diagnóstico oficial de enfermedad mental si simplemente te, te identificas con, con ansiedad con depresión debido a todo lo que está pasando, eres bienvenido a llamar Very good point and thank you Estefania and I have made this point but I want to go ahead and make it again. While you may not be suffering from the physical harm of COVID-19, everyone is suffering from mental health and stress related to it. Some people are coping with it in positive ways, some people are coping it with not so positive ways. Just proud to be able to offer these resources to our community on Mental Health Thursdays. Proud to bring individuals like Estefania And really, we wouldn't be able to do this if it wasn't from the support of the mayor, the entire council, and clinicians like Rosie Barroso, who have continued to bring people forward and continue to help our community. Mental health, it's an important issue, and as the mayor said, uh, in, in, in some research, people are showing more than 50% of the population being impacted by mental health concerns. We're here to support you in any way. If you need additional resources or if you need help to these links, Please feel free to contact through the mayor's office or through any of the council members. We'll be more than happy to put you in touch with these providers. Thank you, Mayor. Thank you, Town Manager. Well, thank you very much. That is great, great, great information. We're going to go through some questions now soon. So when we do, I'll let you know if we do have uh, have some. But I know Miami Lakers, one thing that, uh, that we wanted to talk about, too, in regards to the economy and reopening, and that's part of the anxiety that people are seeing, right? A lot of folks are. We have the highest unemployment rate in all the nation i saw some of those stats yesterday and you can only imagine how folks feel at home so that's something we got to work on but some good news yesterday and when we talk about more and more testing yesterday in miami-dade county forget about the rest of the state's numbers but i can tell you in miami-dade county they're testing close to 38 people out of 1,000 residents here in our community that rate is actually higher than the majority of the countries in the world and is actually on par with with italy so We are testing 38 people out of 1,000 residents. So that rate here in Miami-Dade County, I can't speak for the rest of the state, but I could say that here in Miami-Dade County, we're testing at a, at a high rate. Uh, the demand actually for some of these tests, you're, you're starting to see uh, some of these testing sites needing more and more folks to come. So even if you're asymptomatic, I think the manager shared yesterday that there are sites in Dade County where you can get tested. Algo que le quería hablar porque estamos hablando de la salud mental, el desempleo en nuestra comunidad está demasiado alto, alto. Eh, uno de los porcentajes, por porcentaje, es más alto de los Estados Unidos. Pero algo bueno para reabrir nuestra economía, que ya se está hablando, aquí en Miami-Dade County, no puedo hablar del resto del estado de la Florida, 
se está haciendo el examen de COVID eh, cada, por cada mil residentes ya hay 38 residentes que se han hecho el examen y ese número ya es un número más grande que la mayoría de los países en el mundo y cerca, eh, ahí mismo cercano con, con hasta Italia eso eh, es un número bien importante para reabrir nuestra economía eh, let me see if we have any questions uh, for you guys Actually, everybody's thanking you for all great information, sharing some really great information. I don't see any questions, just comments from residents. Uh, some closing remarks, Mr. Manager? Yeah, I just want to repeat some information that we've provided over the last few days. And uh, hopefully tomorrow, uh, which is Friday, the end of the week, um, our expectation was that the county would be providing some announcement uh, of when some of the businesses with certain restrictions would, be start, uh, would start to be able to be opened up. So we're hoping that that still happens before the weekend, but if it doesn't happen by the weekend, we're hoping that early next week, we'll be able to hear some information from the Dade County. I know that they've been uh, in constant contact with the state of Florida and making sure that we're eliminating as much confusion as possible, because when one place does one thing and another one right next door does something different, it causes confusion because obviously, you know, we, our boundaries are very, uh, very minimal. We just cross one street and you're into another city. So that's our hope is that by the weekend or early next week, we'll be able to hear the announcement of what businesses will be open and when. Le quería avisar que la esperanza de nosotros todavía es que eh, mañana, antes del fin de semana, haya algún anuncio del condado sobre la primera uh, apertura de negocios. Ya hemos tenido la apertura de los parques y, y de los ca campos de golf, etc. Pero ahora queremos ver la apertura de nuestra economía y la esperanza de nosotros es de que antes del fin de semana. Si no, entonces eh, a principio de la semana que viene se anunciará la primera fase de la reapertura de negocios en nuestra comunidad. So some closing remarks for Mental Health Thursday. I'm going to hand it over to uh, Councilman Coyazo. Uh, for some closing remarks on Mental Health Thursday and, and the folks from that. Thank you, Mayor, and we'll continue to uh, bring these as part of our efforts to continue to raise awareness about mental health. We'll continue to bring resources to the community. I do have one final announcement. Uh, tomorrow at Royal Oaks Park, we will be having, uh, the Town of Miami Lakes will be having a food distribution that should run from 10 a.m. up until the food runs out, which is usually around 12 or 1. I encourage, if you're interested in volunteering, many volunteers, many Miami Lakers have reached out to volunteer. We're asking for volunteers to show up at 8 a.m. once again at Royal Oaks Park on Friday. So thank you, Mayor. Thank you for continuing to support this initiative. And Estefania, any final remarks? Please use their resources. They're there for you. We're there for you for the community. So you heard it, Mental Health Thursday. They're gonna be back uh, next Thursday uh, with some more information, but they're here, here to help you. Uh, and like they said, uh, these services are free. So make sure you reach out. Uh, we're starting to see the stats and that's a, a health crisis that we have the ability to get ahead of, you know? So if you know anybody that needs some, some help, you know, reach out to these folks. They're willing and able to help everybody in our community. Uh, for free regardless if you have insurance or not or the capability to pay or not so Miami Lakers uh, reach out to us let us know Councilman Coyazo myself the entire council these healthcare providers our staff volunteers everybody's here to help so reach out to us we are here for you and together we will get through this take care God bless and see you tomorrow